Some more breaking news that's coming in right now. The BJP's Maharashtra chief Chandrakan Patel has accused Udhav government of bending rules of the legislative assembly. Now, the Patel has said, quote, they changed pro tem speaker when rules dictate pro tem speaker should be the same till a new speaker is elected. By procedure, the speaker should be elected first before the floor test. Now, they are planning to elect the speaker without a secret ballot, unquote. Now, Kisan Kathore will be the BJP candidate for the assembly speaker's position. The election of the speaker is to happen tomorrow. The new pro tem speaker who will be conducting the floor test is NCP's Dilip Varse Patel. नए सरकार ने सरकार बनाने के बाद सारे कानून और नियमों का उल्लंघन करने का तय किया है विधि मंडल का नियम यह बताता है कि जब हंगामी अध्यक्ष प्रोटेम जब राज्यपाल नियुक्त करते हैं उनकी शपथ होती है वो दो दिन काम करते हैं तब नव निर्वाचित इलेक्टेड अध्यक्ष होने तक वही हंगामी अध्यक्ष रहता है यह कानून में लिखा है फिर भी कल राज्यपाल को ज्ञापन देकर ये कहेंगे कि यह आग्रह किया गया कि हंगामी अध्यक्ष बदला जाए वाय My colleague Mustafa Sheikh is now joining me live from Mumbai on the story. Mustafa, clarify two points for us. What Chandrakant Patil said is he is raising objection to the fact that the pro tem speaker has been changed. It is not Kalidas Kolamkar anymore. It is Dilip Varse Patil, which has been done by a cabinet move. And secondly, he is also contesting the fact that the speaker's election should happen before the floor test. Is that it? Yes, that's what he was saying. That the process is that first the speaker should have been elected, and pro tem speaker can't be changed because uh, he was sworn in by the governor himself. Till the time a new speaker is elected through secret ballot, uh, the sp pro tem speaker can't be changed. That's the one thing he was saying. And the second thing he was he's saying that this government is doing things uh, reversely. First, they should have elected the speakers uh, uh, voting, and then they should do the floor test. And, and uh, today the government will be doing the floor test first, and the speakers election uh, tomorrow. Somewhere he's saying that because speakers uh, voting happened through a secret ballot, and if they are not successful, and uh, say. Doesn't get their speaker on board, then it will be a problem for them to conduct the flow test. Hence, they are not taking any risk and doing the flow test first, and they have uh, they appointed their own pro tem speaker too. So these are the allegations which have been made, and the allegations also regarding the oath taking of the Thakur and other ministers who uh, who took names of leaders before actually giving the oath, and that is what uh, Chandrakant Patil is alleging that it's invalid, and a petition is being filed by with the governor from BJP that this is invalid oath, and the oath taking ceremony should take place again. So But then again, how of many course, of the these governor was present at the November time Malik of the oath ceremony, so clearly, if there was any. in validity involved then he would have pointed the same out thanks for watching the video for more such news and updates please like share and subscribe to india today also check out our other great videos from our channel we know you would love to